I followed four of the stars of Suits on Twitter, yeah. and in five minutes I got this direct message from Meghan Markle. A private message, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it said, uh, hey, I'm, I'm a big fan, and I'm you know, so excited you're following me. And this is she about, said to you. Yeah, it was about three years ago. And um, you know, I replied, and then another guy in Suits, uh, who plays another character, we, he got involved too. And we, we corresponded quite regularly on Twitter, publicly and privately. She began sending me early copies of uh, Suits episodes. Right. She'd email me from, you know, places like Rwanda. I thought we had a good sort of friendship building. She then said, I'm coming to London to watch the tennis with Serena Williams, yeah. who's her friend, and I, I know Serena well too. And she said, would you like to meet up for a drink? I said, come to my local pub, you know. I'm an Irishman, come to my pub. Um, so she came to my local pub in Kensington, ironically about half a mile from Kensington Palace, yeah, yes. where she now lives. Nobody knew who she was, but she walked in. I remember the locals, right, all these old guys like, like this, drinking their pints, and then walks Meghan Markle like a million dollars. But they didn't know who she was, but they thought she's something Beautiful. special. Yeah, yeah. We had a, two hours in the pub, she had a couple of dirty martinis, had a couple of pints, we got on brilliantly. And then I put her in a cab, and it turned out to be a cab that took her to a party where she met Prince Harry. And then the next night, they had a solo dinner together, and that was the last I ever heard from Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never heard from her again. So what happened? In she, your, uh, she, she ghosted me, Ryan. <laughs> Meghan Markle ghosted did, me. Did she, do you think she just went... Gone. I'm afraid. I, she, look, I really liked her. This is why it hurts. <laughs> no, I, I really liked her. Uh, I just think she's a slight social climber. I'm afraid. And, when... and I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this program, a number of times. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one, and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry, no. Oh, absolutely. Sorry. Do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, maybe not my no, own. No, 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 no. See you later. I'm being... Sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. You... He, I'm sorry, but Piers spouts off on a regular basis and we all have to sit there and listen. 6.30 to 7 o'clock yesterday was... What's good, family? Smash the like button and subscribe so i couldn't resist covering this topic because makar is too interesting especially when or having heard the interview that i've just played for you man at the start of this video wow because obviously for years piers has been very outspoken on or very anti Meghan markle oh look she and many times in the past, he said things like, oh, she hasn't got any loyalty, she cuts people off, and that never made sense to me. I couldn't, like, or not, sorry, not it didn't make sense to me, but there wasn't any context there. He didn't go into any detail at the time, or all them times he mentioned, oh, she cuts people off. He didn't say, she cuts people off, and I was one of them. He just throws it out there as if, and mentions other relationships, oh, she cut her dad off. She cut her friends off and all that kind of business. Not giving full disclosure. Yeah. I believe if you have negative views or strong views on someone, or not even negative actually, if you have strong, positive or negative views, you have to give full disclosure. Oh, by the way, I don't like Meghan Markle, but she mugged me off and ghosted me three years ago. So before, whatever I say now, let me put a disclosure out there. I was mugged off by this woman. You know what I'm saying? How can you... It's almost like... Imagine your employer goes to your ex... You know what I'm saying? Goes to your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend for a reference. That's not... I don't, I don't make no sense. You need someone neutral. If you get sidemanned by someone, whatever you say about them, especially if it's a strong opinion, it's good for nothing. So all these years, many people have been blinded by Piers Morgan, as if he's some neutral and just a neutral, opinionated man. Little did they know, he's been bitter, he's been seething, he's been bubbling away, thinking what could have been. He's been, no, 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 I'm pretty sure. He's probably got his phone out, got the wedding pictures up, he's probably sat there jerking himself off to it, thinking what could have been. Oh, it could have been me, it should have been me. Royal, it should have been me being royally married to Markle. Yeah? They went on a date and he got punked. Now, 
Is she a social climber? Well, they all are. Look at Piers' wives. They've all been good-looking women. He wouldn't be getting them if he would. You know what I'm saying? Every woman in that business is a social climber. Unless you're going out with someone that you met from when you were young, or, you know what I'm saying, or someone who doesn't know about your fame. They're all social climbers. So to put, make out Mark or someone different, that's, what, that's the business they're in. She reached out to Piers, because Piers, in his own right, is quite a big deal. And then when Prince Harry, who's younger, better looking, higher status came along, what was she going to do? So, oh no, you know what? I'll go for the 60 year old, out of shape dude. <laughs> With less money and less fame and less prestige. Don't think so. That's the game you play, Piers. You got trumped. Yeah? You got trumped. And that's the end of that. Suck it up. We well, all get to, well, not me, but obviously you, man, there, get turned into a side man all the time. There's no. It's no hard feelings. You're a side man. Yeah? You live. No one's died. No, your, your ego's probably died. You're, you're bitter as you like. Cut deep. Yeah? But what can you do? Suck it up. Don't then go on for the next four years crying about, ah, oh, just picking at every opportunity you can. And it's amazing because when Piers ran off of set, Many people don't understand. The reason he ran off a set was because the weatherman was actually exposing Pier, Piers Morgan's true... What's the word? Pier, Piers Morgan's true agenda. The weatherman said, Piers, you've been going off on Megan for years. And the reason you're doing that is, is because you got ghosted, you got pied by Megan. When you went after you went on a date. And when Piers heard that, Piers is married, remember? That's what people that's another key thing people many people have overlooked. Piers is married. And this interview came out in 2018. And he said about three years ago. So Piers was married then. Piers was married going on dates with other women, which isn't uncommon in that industry. They're all doing that. They're all doing that swingers business, in all fairness, but still. So the wife probably knew anyway. The wife was probably looking forward to a freeway thing with Megan in the middle, if the truth be known. But <laughs> I'm just I'm just going a spade a spade here. But nonetheless, Piers is married, and he comes. He loves to give all his all of his conservative views. Piers is married, conservative views, and all of a sudden this next weatherman Don is exposing the fact that Piers went on a date with Megan, and that undermines everything he said. The minute the public find out that, just like myself, I was thinking, what? He never told anyone that. And that's why he got up and ran off, because it was all coming out. And luckily, thankfully enough, the weatherman was able to finish what he was saying, which then brought up all these other interviews from ages ago and refleshed that out. But no one didn't know this. So now it comes full circle. The weatherman put it out there and said, for years you've trashed Megan and you haven't been full disclosure. You haven't been full disclosure until now we know the reason why you're truly bitter and you're always picking and prodding and whatnot. And what I find the funniest is Piers calls her a social climber. Piers calls her the worst woman in the world and whatnot. But wasn't it interesting that she wasn't that much of a social climber. She wasn't that much of a horrible person. When you thought you were going to get in the panties. Yeah. When you thought you were going on a date and it was going to go somewhere. You weren't. He, you know what I mean? Isn't it? Because we can. As humans. And Piers isn't stupid. So he's not someone who's naive. As humans. We know if some. We know what someone's angling at. I mean. I'm not being funny Piers. You're a 60 year old man. And some fresh 30 year olds inboxing you. Why would she be doing that? What, what you think you're really, you, you think you're that entertaining? <laughs> of course she was social climbing. But you could have picked up on that and said, you know what? I've got this 30 year old upcoming actor in my DMs. I know that isn't genuine. Let me ignore it. No, nope. you was straight on it. Straight to the pub and trying to drop game. Obviously your game was dead. That's why you got pied. Because listen, obviously, if your game was fire, and you'd have dropped the fire game, and she probably would have said, you know what, I'm going to go with, even though Piers is, 
less prestigious, I'm going to go with him because his game was fire. But you ain't got the fire game. You got the dead game. That's why you turned. That's why she turned you into a sideman, a bit of sideman. So Piers now is a 60-year-old. Not not the age. But I'm just saying, Piers right now is a 60-year-old. In fact, no, the age is relevant. The age is relevant because. You're meant to be an old, matured man now. You've got kids of your own. Just grow up and get over it, man. <laughs> this isn't some fresh 15, 18-year-old who's just had his heart broken for the first time. Who's just been turned into a sideman. Who's been turned into a raging sideman on national t in front of national TV for the first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> get over it. But then again, thinking about it now... If I'd if I'd have come if I'd have if I'd have come that close to getting in Megan's panties, I'd probably be I'd probably be pretty I'd probably be pretty bitter too. Oh, it was so close. I was this close to the panties. You know what I mean? That's what that's what that's what really cuts Piers deep at night. He lays there and thinks what could have been. Yeah. And that's often how it works. To be fair, we know that when it comes to race and whatnot, often a lot of the most Racist people, they they fantasize about. Do you know what I'm saying? It's one of them ones, one of them creepy, one of them goofy, one of them. You know what I mean? Some of the some of the people who are, who are most against something, same as all the the homo stuff. The people who are most against things, often it comes out in scandals that they were at it themselves. Do you know what I mean? The people who are most against it, Piers is so against Megan. Really, he wants to be deep in the panties. That's why, given half a chance, he'd be all over it, hundred percent. As but. As has been proved by the history of the situation. Don't believe it. Or don't believe it for a second. At least not now. And that's why Piers had to leave. Because it all came out in the wash. He thought. Oops. I've been exposed here. I've got to jump ship now. I've got, I've got to go somewhere where there's no. Critical credibility. Fox News. Where you can just rant. And make no sense. And have no. You know what I mean? Anyway. That's the expose. Done. Piers Morgan. Number one, top Donny side man. And that's the end of that.